Hi, Dr. TJ Dixon here, connecting to your best life. Today's message is the third part of a four-part series on Beyond the Law of Attraction. In these past two weeks, I've covered four of the eight major laws of the universe, and today I will cover two more. But for a quick review, let's talk a little bit about the four that I've covered. During the first week, I covered the law of attraction and the law of deliberate creation. And with the law of attraction, basically it's like a boomerang. Whatever vibration you put out, whatever energy you put out, you get back, or like attracts like. So if you're thinking negatively, likely you're going to experience some, some negative experiences. With the law of deliberate creation, on the other hand, you consciously choose what it is that you're thinking and what it is that you're doing. So with the law of deliberate creation, instead of creating by default, you're actually conscious of your thoughts and conscious of your actions to make positive steps towards what it is that you want and to consciously be aware of your thoughts. So if you're wanting to attract abundance, you're thinking abundantly and you're thinking that way on purpose. Last week, I covered the law of allowing and the law of sufficiency and abundance. And with the law of allowing, that one had that two prong, it has that two prong way of applying it where the first way is with the law of allowing is allowing others to be who they are while you maintain being who you are. And that law can be pretty, that part can be pretty tough because oftentimes we want to say what someone should be, what someone should do, how we should be, how we should do. With the law of allowing, you pretty much go with the flow. Let that person be who they are, you be who you are, while still moving towards, if it's you, still moving towards ultimately how you want to be and who you want to be. The other part to that law is you're putting out the energy you are, there's something that you want, but you allow that co-creative process to unfold the way it wants to, meaning that you allow God, you allow the creator, you allow the universe to deliver it to you in the best way it sees fit. So for instance, perhaps you, you know, I had mentioned the, the, um, the example of myself where I wanted to go into wellness full time. I wanted to do my healing and wellness work full time. And I thought that I would build the, the business up while I was still working full time as an accountant. But that's not the way I got full time into wellness. I had to take the leap of faith and just go for it full time because it wasn't working out for me to do this part time and work as an accountant full time. It came down to pretty much God saying, you got to choose here. What do you, which one do you want? So I still was able to achieve my ultimate desire, which is doing what I do today. It just didn't come about exactly the way that I thought it would. And now for today's message. Today we're looking at the law of pure potentiality and the law of detachment. And the law of pure potentiality. What that means is pure potentiality basically means that we are all connected and we are all a part of the creator. We're all a part of God. We are connected. We are part of that divine energy, that, that divine stream. And since within the creator, within God, is infinite possibilities, infinite potential, we also have infinite possibilities and infinite potential because we are part of that. And so how does that apply to us? Basically, it means that whatever's in our divine birthright, we have full access to, and we can be, do, and have it. And oftentimes, as I had talked about last week, when we looked at the law of sufficiency and abundance, um, we oftentimes think we are not enough. And we also think that we live in a, in a world, in a universe, where there is scarcity when, in fact, there is abundance. The law of pure potentiality just takes that even further. When we understand that law, we know that any, there's infinite potential within our realm. 
We are not limited by what society tells us. We're not limited even by what we tell ourselves. There's so much that we can do. And there's so much potential there for us. You know, there's a, there's a person who I, who I know who um, has this saying, and, and I have used this when I have spoken, particularly to groups of youth. And the saying goes, I have potential. And turn to your neighbor and say, you have potential. And so I'm going to say that now. I have potential and you have potential. So whatever those dreams are that you have, whatever that thought is of what it is you would like to be or do or have, understand that is within your potential because of the law of pure potentiality. Um, there are so many things that I can even think of even in my own life that I never knew that I was going to do. I didn't even know I had it in me, but I was able to achieve it. One that comes to the top of my head is when I um, was able to complete a half marathon. And what was so interesting about that is about a year before I completed that half marathon, I was having difficulty even just walking um, to the other side of the complex that I worked at to pick up lunch because I had, I had allowed myself physically to, to get unwell. So, you know, I didn't know it was within me to ever do a half marathon. And here I was, and I was able to complete a half marathon, 13.1 miles. And I've done that three times. Because again, within, within the law of pure potentiality, we are connected to the creator. The creator is connected to us. And there is infinite potential within God. So then let's look at the law of detachment. The law of detachment is this law that will give you pure freedom, just will give you freedom when you understand and apply it to your life. Because what the law of detachment is this, with the, and I'll take you through how the laws all tie together. The law of attraction, I'm going to, to um, think positively so I get positive back. The law of deliberate creation. Not only am I going to think positively, I'm going to take meaningful steps towards this thing that I want. Um, the law of allowing. And I'm going to allow the universe, to, I'm going to allow God to deliver whatever way he, it sees fit. The law of sufficiency and abundance. I know that I am enough for what it is that I want. And I know that this that I live in, a, in an abundant universe. So I know that the abundance is there for me to have. And then you look at the law of pure potentiality. And what I want is definitely, I definitely have potential to get it. And then you get to the law of detachment. The law of detachment is now that I know what I want, now that I, I've done all these things, I'm going to be detached from the outcome. I've done my part, I've done everything that I am to do, and now I release it. And whether it comes to me or it doesn't come to me, I'm gonna be cool either way, because I know that the ultimate best is gonna come from me. That's the law of detachment. It's like the law of allowing on steroids. It's, it's the ultimate allowing where you will detach from whatever outcome it is. Because again, sometimes what it is that we want it doesn't come in the form we think it's going to come. It sometimes doesn't come in the timing that we want it to come. Sometimes it doesn't even come at all because there's something even better for us or that is not the best route for us. It just looks like it to us. So with the law of attachment, it just is simply, I've done my part and I'll release this now to God to, to bring it to pass the way in which I wanted to bring, that way I want it to come to pass or the, the way in which God wants to come to pass. And the way I put it is this, when I pray, one of the things that I say is, in my prayer is, I know that you can do all this and more or better. I know that you can do all this. And not only can you do all this and more or better, that you will do all this or more or better. 
And that is activating faith that I've done my part and I trust you. I trust you, God, to do. You understand my desires and I trust you to bring to me in whichever way that you would see fit this thing I desire. And I know that even if this thing I desire does not come, I trust that whatever is coming is even better than what I wanted. That's the law of detachment. So these last three weeks, we've covered six of the eight laws of the universe. Next week, we'll wrap up with the final two. Thank you so much for watching. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, but you are liking what you are seeing, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you would like to know more about my coaching, my life coaching services, about the books that I have available, about the educational workshops that I give, check out my website at www.drtjdixon.com and may you live your best life.